101. My guest tonight is not only an award-winning comedian, but also a dramatist and a novelist. Will you please welcome Jenny Eclair? Yeah. Lovely to see you. Oh, splendid. Thank you. Take your seat. Well, first of all, uh, welcome to Room 101. Well, it's uh, well, it's a bit like Steptoe's Yard, isn't it? It is a little bit like that. <laughs> now, I've, I've known you for quite a few years, haven't I? Too um, many. And I don't imagine you had much trouble coming up with suggestions for Room 101. Uh, no, the trouble was sort of shortening my list. Uh -huh. I hate everything, mm. including <laughs> you. Including you me. were top of my list. I wanted <laughs> you in there. Be a short show, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, but then I could take over, and that was part of my plan. Yeah, I don't think you should be saying that bit out loud. <laughs> um, let's have a look at your first choice, uh, illustrated by, by that. Ah. Now, what does this represent? Well, it's an odd illustration, that one, isn't it? Because yes. I think you're, what you mean here is the charmless mugger. Yes. But that looks like a, a fine, dainty lady hand and a handbag. <laughs> now, I want charmless muggers. I'm talking those men who okay. creep up. Yeah, make it big, fat, hairy right, I'll, I'll just write charmless on here. <laughs> Thank you. That helps. There we are. Charmless. Yes. You know me. I'm a reasonable woman, Paul. Yeah. And I don't mind being mugged, as long as it's done with some charms. <laughs> you know, it's, a, it's a form of tax, isn't it? Yeah. I'm a dumpy little old lady wobbling down the street, you know. There's junkies and thieves out. If someone taps me on the shoulder politely and says, yeah. ahem, excuse me, I'm a hopeless drug addict. <laughs> I need your money. Oh, I'll, I think, I think, well, I think we can broker a deal here. Mm, mm. And I'd open my purse and I'd say, well, listen, I've got £40. What say you take 20 I keep the other 20 I don't mind that. What I do mind is when they come up behind you down a dark alley and push you. I don't want to be pushed. I'm too old to be pushed. And you fall on your knees and it's, you get, the, you know, when you're... This is a your regular knees. occurrence. <laughs> Quite a few times, yes. I've been mugged three times and carjacked once and conned d so many times. But, you know, a scabby knee is not a good look for a woman of my age. No. So I don't like that. So you say you've been conned many times. Can you give us a few cons? Do you want my mugging stories, my con stories? How long have we got? I want a mugging story, a song, and then a con story. <laughs> tell you what you don't want. You don't want a song. Uh, something from Oklahoma. <laughs> don't make me cry. Um, right, I don't no, know that one. I was... <laughs> don't make me cry. cry. Don't make me cry, Argentina. You were right. We don't want a song. No. I told I warned you. Right, I was... I was uh, carjacked once, and yes. I didn't really mind about the car, because it was insured, and I thought, well, mm. I, I can have another car. What infuriated me was I'd been to Marks and Spencer's, and I had a boot full of supper things, you know, for supper. Yeah. Lovely things, mm. low-calorie things. Yes. And he drove off with my supper in the car. Yeah. <laughs> I was so angry. And then I tried to follow him, and I was, I was unfortunately wearing sort of a flip-flop type of arrangement shoe. Yeah. And I, I took off this shoe. It was about something like this, like a slipper. Yeah. And I was trying to sort of knock in the windscreen with my slipper. It didn't work. No. <laughs> but he looked so scared for a moment that he locked himself in my car. <laughs> the bugger was scared of me. <laughs> so I had a little a bit of a moral victory there, but yeah. he did go away with my car and all my food. You see, what How I How did he get into your car in the first place? Well, I was sitting there, I was waiting for my daughter, uh, she was at a children's party, and, uh, and I was reading a book, weirdly enough, about Princess Diana, don't ask me why, and uh, my eye was off Why the ball. were you reading the book? I don't know! <laughs> oh, well, because I bought her this book for a history project, we're getting so off the track here. Anyway, I saw this handsome young man walk past, and I gave him the glad eye on. Yeah. So anyway, the next thing I know, he's sitting next to me. He was very handsome. I thought, ooh. And I went, hello. And he says, shut up, I've got a knife. I looked down, large knife there. I jumped out of the car with the keys. And uh, then I ran up the path to the children's party. And uh, it, the door was locked. I put my fist through the glass of the door. And I turned around, he's there with a knife at my neck. So I threw him the keys. And he, he got the keys. And he got in my car. And, and then that's when I chased him with my slipper. Could you have just stayed in the car and perhaps driven away? <laughs> when you're in the car and he's outside, but I was, don't you think that was an advantage? I was reading a book about Princess Diana. I think my eyes were filled with tears. How could you see the knife if your eyes were filled with tears? I mean, it's just... <laughs> This is just a tissue of lies, I think. No, it was, it was so true. So you think muggers should be more polite then? Yes, yes, I do. Should I they do. sort of, after they've mugged you, place a little chocolate on your head or something like that? <laughs> they don't 
don't need to take all the contents of my handbag. And the, th the, the thing is, some of them are quite charming. Those are the con artists. Yes. And they're the ones that arrive at your door and say things like, oh, my car's just been towed away and unfortunately it's got my wallet in and my filofax and my mobile phone. I live just over there. Can you lend me £20 to get my car out of the pound? This actually happened to me. Mm. And I thought, well, you've got to trust a man with a filofax, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> and so... I said, I looked at my purse, I had nothing, Paul, I had nothing. I said, I'm terribly sorry, young man, I have no money. My daughter, she was about ten at the time, arrived at the top of the stairs in a nighty, in a forever friend's nighty. She said, Mummy, it was my birthday last week. Remember, Grandma sent me twenty pounds. Shall I give the man the twenty pounds? I looked at the man, I said, if you're taking this child's twenty pounds and you have no intention of bringing it back, he said, would I do that? He did that. That's exactly what he did. <laughs> and I once gave a woman who was a minicab driver £500 for IVF treatment. <laughs> I tell you. What, I know. No, hang on then. OK. So the conversation is, can you take me to London Bridge? Yeah, I can take you to London Bridge. I need 500 quid for an IVF. <laughs> I, she conned me. I totally believed it. Well, how do you know she was, wasn't telling the truth? Well, she never came round with a baby to show me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. She could have pushed it through the letterbox or something, couldn't she? <laughs> well, it's just, it's just, I don't like being taken for a mug or pushed over. It's, it's the being pushed over, yeah. really. There are, there are ways of getting people to hand over their wallets just by asking them. I don't know if you would have fallen for this. Have a look at this. This is Devon Brown. Excuse me, mate. Sorry, you don't know where the, um, the Pleasure Beach is, do you? Pleasure Beach? Is this whole area the Pleasure Beach, or...? No, just that end piece. It's straight down there, is it? Yeah. OK, you don't... Straight down here. Yeah. Down the prom. Excellent. You don't mind me asking, do you? <laughs> no, OK, you're happy to give that to me. OK. Yeah, you're already maker. Absolutely, no, I don't know the area that well. Cheers, you haven't got the time, have you? No. no. Great. Can I just no. give you... Can I just grab your wallet off you? Thanks. Can I just grab that from you? Thanks. Thank you ever so much. I'll take that. No, it's such a hot day, isn't it? All right, so straight down there, down the end on the right. Yeah, yeah that's right. All right, thank you very yeah, much. Just walk out there. All right, lovely. Thanks. Brooke. Cheers. Thanks, mate. I wouldn't mind that because he hasn't. He's done no shoving. Yeah. He's done no spitting or kicking. In fact, you've just given him the wallet, haven't you? Yes. So in that case, there yeah. you go, my man. Yeah. Like that. Um, uh, I was just thinking, as you are the target for muggers, um, I could put charmless muggers into room 101. Just charmless ones. Just charmless ones. So, what do we call a mugger if we're not calling him a mugger? What's a, what's a what's a charmful mugger? What do we call a reliever? A reliever. <laughs> OK, so we'll keep relievers out, but charmless muggers are definitely going into room 101. In they go. Yes, in they go. All gone. And we're all safe now. Totally safe. You're we're never... all safe. OK, your next choice is illustrated by this clip. Have a look at this. Jellyfish. Simple animals. Deceptively simple. They come in many shapes and sizes, but they have a number of features in common. Stinging tentacles, a body with muscles, nerves, stomach and mouth, or mouths, and a pulsating bell that enables them to swim. So, bus conductors. What is it about bus... <laughs> no, it's obviously jellyfish. What don't you like about jellyfish? Aren't I, they lovely? I know that there is... <laughs> what? No! 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 Oh, stupid. That's just stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid. It's obviously out of the water. It's just stupid cellophane stupid. I'm really cross. <laughs> I'm really, really cross. Cos I said, I said I'd wet my pants if a pro... Anyway, that's not. That's not. But that, that, it's I don't not mind real. that. No, of course. I'm not a fool. <laughs> that's not real. You, I know. Yes, it's taking you about 20 seconds to get to that point. <laughs> um, the first time I encountered a jellyfish, I used to live up in the northwest on a sort of seaside resort thing. Uh, and, you can uh, say Blackpool. It wasn't quite, it was the posh end of Blackpool, it was Lytham St Anne's. Yeah. But there's a, a bit of it called Granny's Bay. Yes. <laughs> right, walking around Granny's Bay, well, well, I was only young, and there was a washed up dead jellyfish. And I've been traumatised by that site ever since, because some boys had spades and were jabbing at the dead jellyfish with spades, throwing rocks at it and poking it with sticks. And I've, ever since then, I've had a real phobia about it. Well, then, why should that give you a phobia? Because sometimes I think when you have phobias, you kind of get the taste of the phobia in your mouth. 
Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? So then you go to Greece when you're older and you, you're on a motorbike with your boyfriend you're at the top of a mountain and you look down there's that perfect cove. Yeah. You know the one. Yeah. And you think, let's make it down there for lunch and lie naked on the beach and, you know, yeah. we're young. <laughs> and um, it's a beautiful cove and you, you dive into the... And then there's a jellyfish. And that just spoils a nice swim, a jellyfish. Because then I'm out and I'm crying on, and I'm being hysterical and he wants to hit me but he knows if he starts he might not be able to stop. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all spoiled and then he says well just calm down have some lunch so you go and you're still a bit weepy and you go and have some lunch but you pick up the fork and you imagine it's jellyfish on the fork and then do you ever get that thing I get that thing and then the I... whole lunch is spoiled the holidays ruined yeah I, I think you might I think you might be a bit mental <laughs> Do you know there is a jellyfish that has got 60 arseholes? <laughs> if that doesn't warrant a place in room 101, it's called a box fish jellyfish. Mm. It's, it's got 24 it... eyes, four parallel brains, yes. and 60 arseholes. <laughs> I think I've made my case. <laughs> OK, so you did something about being stung. Have you ever been stung by one? No, I've always got out of the water like a rabbit and fast. Mm. Yes. Rabbits aren't particularly fast getting out of here. <laughs> OK, like, um, a jack-in-o-box, but a waterproof one. I don't know, Paul. <laughs> Help me. The spring would go rusty. <laughs> I get out of the water as fast as I can. No, I know what you're talking about. I see that. Okay, you get out of the water as fast as you can. Some of them are extremely poisonous. You've yeah, mentioned they can the kill box. A man. Yeah, the sting from a box jellyfish can kill, a, can kill somebody in minutes. Um, this is what a nasty, irritating sting can look like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, that's, sorry, that's the wrong picture. I meant the sting on the leg. The sting on the leg. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. So, have you ever been in the water and you've sensed the jellyfish around you? Yes, I have. I have, and I've been very frightened. Mm. And the other thing that happens, if you do get stung by a jellyfish and there's no sort of antiseptic wipe, someone has to wee on the sting. That's right, you do, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. Once they start weeing, they might not stop. They might just think, oh, you know, it's just not nice. <laughs> well, you say they might not stop, you think they'll just be drinking water while they're... <laughs> just... an everlasting fountain of piss. <laughs> I just don't want to be weed on on a public beach. Well, none of us do, but sometimes it, the situation calls for it. I mean, it, you know, the thing is, that's the one advantage if you are a man, you get stung by one of these things, you can just, you know, just lie on your back and piss up in the air. Yeah. <laughs> Stick a ping pong ball at the top, look like a fairground, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It is better, apparently, there is something in men's urine that is better than, than, than ladies' urine. <laughs> ladies' urine, a new fragrance. <laughs> Lady urine. Yes, mm, yes. Dab it on. Is that Lady something urine. new, dear? Yes, I've just pissed behind my ears. <laughs> So, um, you could try eating them. I, no, well, you see, they're they're no, a delicacy, they'd be very good for you. They, you have, they don't, do they? Yeah, do they're they? full of nutrients, yeah, they're full of good stuff. I mean, a 50-foot-long tentacle takes a bit of chewing, but you can get in it. <laughs> Different well, flavours, jellyfish. What are they for? What are they actually for? Do they do anything? Yes. What? They eat plankton. Well, we can all eat plankton. When was the last time you ate plankton? <laughs> but can you imagine? No, I can't, I, can No, you? I'm very sure. <laughs> I'm very short-sighted. Imagine diving yeah. and then so coming up and there's a jellyfish on your head or in yeah. your mouth or... I, I just... it upsets me. You, you don't honestly think you'd get a jellyfish in your mouth, do you? With... well, not only a baby one, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe, can you imagine this? What if you... how do they breed? Do they breed outside their bodies? What if you swallow some jellyfish spermazota and egg at the same time? And then gave and birth you, to yeah. a jellyfish. <laughs> You don't want to do no, that. No, you don't worth taking the risk. No. Well, they actually breed out of water. They find no. alleyways around the back of discos. Can they run on land? Yes! <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> they can get as far as Camberwell, which is where you live. <laughs> and now I've got a new horror in my head. Yeah, absolutely. I'm being mugged by a jellyfish. Yeah. <laughs> and it's not even charming. I don't know, you see. Can I put this in? Um... Well, what else are you going to do with it? Well, what I else don't... are you going to do with them? Well, you see, the thing is, you're asking me, you're asking me to get rid of a, an entire species here, um, which has survived for 650 million years. Right? Until I came along and spoilt it. I really can't. All right, see yourself. I'll just, I'll just go around and kill as many as I possibly can in the time I've got left. Oh, OK, we'll start with this one, and in they go! Yes! <laughs>